Hi, it's Grant here from the Man Cave. My friends at Limited Speak have asked me to give you a bit of tour of what the Man Cave looks like today. So um, we'll do a quick wander around in no particular order. This is the uh, Porsche GT3 RS. It's the Weissach package, so it's got the magnesium wheels and a bit of Weissach striping and so on. And it's got carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber hood, and it's kind of pretty racy looking inside. It's got the half cage and pretty deep racing type buckets. It's got a six point harness. Um, I've done one track day in this car and uh, it's pretty quick for a road car, not too dissimilar to the, to the GT3 race car, career cup car. Um, moving right along, this is a very important part of the collection. It's the, um, it's the Segway, the Ferrari Segway. So, Badge Ferrari and it's got a little Ferrari kind of satchel thing here so you can go and do the shopping on it if you want. And moving right along, it's kind of a lot of people's favourite. Um, this is the F12 TDF, the triple layer yellow. And black wheels, yellow calipers, painted on shield. Pretty nice interior, the yellow stripe seats. Ducting at the rear. If you do a burnout, this is where all the smoke comes out of. Moving right along, something different. This is the Shelby Cobra, so this is a 1966 or 67, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think it might have been built in 66 and first registered in 67, but it's a genuine 427 Shelby Cobra. Built in California, now residing here in New Zealand. It's got the PDQ number plate, pretty darn quick, pretty damn quick. And it is pretty quick for like an old car. It's actually amazingly fast and quite, quite scary to drive because there's no ABS or traction control or any of that sort of stuff. And it's very, very light for the horsepower. I think it's about 450 horsepower and sort of 800 kilos, so it's a pretty good power to weight ratio. This is the uh, Pista Pilotti, which is something I've posted a few pictures of lately. So this was only available to Ferrari races, or if you're the Ferrari racing program, like Challenge, like I was, or in the FXX program, or obviously something like the Endurance Championships or Formula One, those guys get access to these cars. You can have it painted in your racing colour, so my racing car is black, the last time I raced, and you can have your racing number and so on it, on it. So yeah, you can see it down the side there, and then on the inside of the car, it's got a lot, a lot of nice little touches like Italian flag on the shifters, and you can't really see it too well here, but it's kind of the Italian flag colours in the seat. And moving over here, it's kind of the pride of the fleet, but this is um, La Ferrari Aperta with the roof on at the moment. Um, because we're in lockdown here in New Zealand and no cars are going anywhere, so they're kind of just sitting here and making sure they don't collect dust. And behind the Aperta, another thing I've bought and hardly ever used is the um, Colnago racing bike, um, Ferrari edition. It's pretty cool carbon fiber, it's really light and it's, I like it because it's got the Ferrari branding on it. And moving right along, I do a bit of a thing for motorbikes as well. So, um, this is actually looking pretty messy with the leather jacket sitting over the top, but this is a um, Z1 Kawasaki. So, back in the sort of I think the early 70s, these were just the, the motorbike to have. And by today's standards, it's not really that fast, but I still think it's kind of a very cool thing. And um, this one's been restored by Graham Crosby, who's a New Zealander who won Isle of Man TT a few times, raced for Formula One and so on, back, back in the day. He's just done a beautiful job of restoring it. This is the um, car I last raced. So it's a uh, 48 Challenge car. 
It's not quite up to date anymore because it's due to have um, the Evo kit fitted, but once that's done, it'll be right up to speed with the latest cars. And the last time this car raced uh, was at Monza. So, um, yeah, I think I'm getting a bit past it for racing now, but it's a really good souvenir. And it's nice to have actually raced at Monza, which is kind of the Italian home of motorsport. And you can see it's kind of quite, quite similar looking, I guess, as you'd expect to the Pista Pilotti. And here's the Dino. I still really like the classics. I think it's a beautiful looking car and it's got sort of all the old fashioned stuff on. Like um, pretty skinny tyres and alloy wheels and the Perspex light covers. And this car was restored by DK Engineering in the UK, who I bought it from. And it's just you know, absolutely sort of concourse grade quality. And uh, it's got the Daytona style seats. Um, yeah, the video's tan, it's looking a bit yellow in this light. It's got the manual shifter and spoke steering wheel and so on. So it really, really looks the part. Um, next door, we've got the Enzo here, a nicely color coded um, mountain bike behind it. So there's Giallo Medina, yellow, which I reckon is really one of the nicer versions of the yellow. Uh, this, this Enzo's never been registered, I've probably told you about it before, but it's got about 290 kilometers on it from brand new. So I have driven it once. And would you believe it, it, it rained when I took it out for a drive, so it's put me off. Never drive it again, I had to clean it up to brand new. And then we've got the 355. So once again, this is quite a special car. So Ferrari made a lot of these, probably 10,000 or so. But um, this one's only got about 600 kilometers from new, so it's pretty much like a brand new car. I actually do drive this a little bit, but um, not much and usually only sort of five or 10 kilometers at a time, get it warmed up. Just so it stays in really nice condition. But once again, it's got, you know, all the nice manual gearbox inside. And still got plastic in the footwell. And then last but not least, the triple layer orange Pista Spider. So I don't know of many other cars. The only other car I've seen in this color is a you know, LaFerrari in Japan which I copied when I did this, the spec of this car. And I don't know of any others. The color's actually called Kako, which I believe is named after a, a Mr. Kako, who um, was the guy who first got a car painted in this color, the, the guy who went to LaFerrari. Probably he's got the Italian flag racing stripe. And did a lot of, a lot of extras in this, the stripe seats, and fire extinguisher, and stripe on the steering wheel, and on the control buttons down there on the center console. And yeah, so last but not least, um, got the simulator here. So it's something to do in these kind of coronavirus times. You can sit down and while away a bit of time. Oh, this is the door of my 2017 race car. It's a reminder of a bit of an incident I had in uh, the Chinese Grand Prix circuit. Okay, came a bit off, worse off for wear, so we souvenired this. And yeah, simulator set up for Bathurst, which in this part of the world is a very famous circuit, fantastic circuit, best race in the world, I reckon. Um, I'm going to go and do some laps on it very shortly. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, that's the update on the Man Cave. Catch you next time. Bye.